This is Jupiter Today for the 15th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC today, EO begins the day in quadrant four heading east. Europa starts the day in quadrant three heading west. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant two heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant four heading east. At 428 UTC, EO goes through its Apogee, and that's the furthest distance it is from Jupiter in its current orbit. And that distance is 423,530.8 kilometers. At 6 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 4 heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter soon. And by 12 hours UTC, EO has successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now in quadrant 1 heading east. Europa is at its greatest western elongation and is going to be moving into quadrant four and going to be moving east from Earth's point of view. This blue line indicates the direction towards Earth and the gray line indicates the direction towards the Sun. This is the phase angle. At 18 hours UTC, EO is just about to cross its eastern elongation and move into quadrant 2, going to be going west. Europa is now firmly in quadrant 4, heading east. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO is now firmly in quadrant 2, heading west. Europa continues in quadrant 4, heading east. And Ganymede and Callisto are still in there corresponding quadrants. There are two Jupiter satellite events today. At 7.22 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And at 9.53 UTC, EO reappears from the shadow of Jupiter. There are two satellite mutual events today. The first one actually started yesterday at 2359 UTC and goes to six minutes after zero hours UTC today. And that's when Europa is going to occult EO. It's a 6.7 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.466 magnitudes. And it's a nice distance away from Jupiter, good for photometry or photography. It's 103.67 arc seconds from Jupiter. And the second event today corresponds to the same two moons at 20 minutes after zero hours UTC to zero hours 27 minutes. Europa is going to eclipse EO. That's a 7.8 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop, a deep one of 0.849 magnitudes. And EO is a good distance away from Jupiter, 101.18 arc seconds. And EO and Europa are 7.94 arc seconds apart. And turning towards the Google Earth map, this shows the visibility of this event. This point is the location on the Earth where Jupiter is at the zenith at the time of the event. And all of Europe will see this event, and all of Africa, maybe some of South America. Alright, orbital ribbons for today. These are just the temporal connections between the four Galilean moons. These are the same orbits that you just saw. And I've just connected the same times together, and it makes these interesting shapes that, to me, look like ribbons being twisted. So this is the connection between EO and Europa. 
and Eel and Ganymede, Eel and Callisto, and then the other combinations, Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice twist. That's because Europa is going this way, and Ganymede is also going this way, so their starting points go, and then it appears to overlap here. And Europa and Callisto. And then finally, Ganymede and Callisto. And I combine all of those and colorize them a little bit to get that for today. Okay, 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter at a longitude of zero degrees. And we just observe what it would look like over the next 24 hours if we were there at Jupiter. Io just went into Jupiter's shadow. Let's see it pop out here. Yep, there it is. Europa's gonna pass in front of Callisto there. Wish, wish we were there to actually witness this, but we aren't. Maybe someday. There goes Io in front of Ganymede. Right at the end of the day. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today. The first at 4.54, and the second at 14.50 UTC. There were some new images, I believe just one. Yeah. And there was also some new radio data. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, 16 minutes, 21.6 seconds, and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 52 minutes, 14.6 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 170.53 degrees. And that's 1.134 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 1.748 degrees. And that's 0 0.208 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Earth and Jupiter today is 651,970,401 kilometers. And that's 386,720 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 16,113.33 kilometers per hour, now moving away from one another. And that's 1,994.25 kilometers per hour greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 798,070,070 kilometers, and that's 46,005 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,916.88 kilometers per hour, and that's 0.16 kilometers per hour slower than what it was yesterday. At zero hours UTC, the central meridian, CM1, 328.33 degrees, 
CM2 280.46 degrees, CM3 191.18 degrees. The time of this recording is 0 hours 43 minutes UTC on the 15th of February 2015. So please subscribe and thank you to, for, to those who are, have subscribed. I hope that you are enjoying and appreciating this information that I'm providing. I'd like to be able to monitor Jupiter as much as possible. So send your images in to the email shown and also send any questions or suggestions. I'm always trying to make the information that I present uh, more informative and different perspectives on a highly dynamic system, which we know very little about. So you can send those comments and questions and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.